In this video, I'm going to talk about save and publish. These are two very important buttons within the elements editor, and we're going to walk you through them right now. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to these two very important buttons within the elements editor. First being the save button. This button acts pretty much like you think it would. It helps ensure that any of the work you are doing within the elements editor gets saved. You'll notice that once you click save, the URL name has changed. This is one way to help notify you that your work is saved and will now be available in the elements section of your dashboard. Like so. Next up is the publish button. This is the button you will need to select once your alerts, overlays, or widgets are ready to go live within OBS. Once you press publish, all of the changes that you've made will be pushed live, which means if you're already using that element within OBS, you should see it update with your changes. One thing to note is that if you're working on an element that is live within OBS, but you're not sure that you want all those changes that you've just made to be pushed live, you can just press the save button. All of your changes will be kept, but your live element that's showing within OBS will not be updated. And there you have it. Two very simple, but very important buttons to know within the Elements Editor experience. Check out the new Elements Editor and the Elements Gallery at widgets.streamelements.com.